O Lord, you know this day, day. Wow. my strength and my faith is helping. For I am the Lord and the Lamb, sworn by everyone, despised by the people. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, we have made all those who are born in Christ the chosen race of royal priesthood. Grant us, we pray, the grace to will and to do what you command, that the people called to eternal life may be one in the faith in their hearts and the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, Lord, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, I will take the children of Israel from among the nations to which they have come and gather them from all sides to bring them back to their land. I will make them one nation upon the land in the mountains of Israel, and there shall be one prince for them all. Never again shall they be two nations, and never again shall be, they be divided into two kingdoms. No longer shall they defile themselves with their idols, their abominations, and all their transgressions. I will deliver them from their sins of apostasy, and cleanse them so that they may be my people, and I may be their God. My servant David will be prince over them, and there shall be one shepherd for them all. They shall live by my statutes and carefully observe my decrees. They shall live on the land that I gave to my servant Jacob, the land where their fathers lived. They shall live on it forever, they and their children and their children's children, with my servant David as their prince forever. I will make with them a covenant of peace, it shall be an everlasting covenant with them, and I will multiply them and put my sanctuary among them forever. My dwelling shall be with them. I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Thus the nations shall know that it is I, the Lord, who make Israel holy, when my sanctuary shall be set among them forever. The word of the Lord. Amen. Responsorial Psalm. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations. Proclaim it on distant isles and say, He who scattered Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord shall ransom Jacob. He shall redeem him from the land of his conqueror. Shouting, they shall mount the heights of Zion. They shall come streaming to the Lord's blessings, the grain, the wine, and the oil, the sheep, and the oxen. The, the Lord, Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards us. Then the virgins shall make merry and dance, and young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console and gladden them after their sorrows. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards us. Praise to you, Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise, Praise to you, the Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Cast away from you all the crimes you have committed, says the Lord, and make for yourselves a new heart and a new spirit. Praise, Praise to you, the Word of God, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Many of the Jews who had come to Mary and seen what Jesus had done began to believe in him. 
But some of them went to the Pharisees and told them what Jesus had done. So the chief priests and the Pharisees convened the Sanhedrin and said, What are we going to do? This man is performing many signs. If we leave him alone, all will believe in him, and the Romans will come and take away both our land and our nation. But one of them, Caiaphas, who was high priest that year, said to them, You know nothing, nor do you consider that it is better for you that one man should die instead of the people, so that the whole nation may not perish. He did not say this on his own, but since he was high priest for that year, he prophesied that Jesus was going to die for the nation, and not only for the nation, but also to gather into one the dispersed children of God. From that day on, they planned to kill him. So Jesus no longer walked about in public among the Jews, but he left for the region near the desert to a town called Ephraim, and there he remained with his disciples. Now the Passover of the Jews was near, and many went up from the country to Jerusalem before Passover to purify themselves. They looked for Jesus and said to one another, as they were in the temple area, what do you think? that he will not come to the feast, the gospel of the Lord. Good morning. Our first reading this morning, it's taken from the Old Testament book of the prophet Ezekiel, it's chapter 37. And very similarly to yesterday, we, if we were to divide chapter 37 up into three sections, because there are three parts to 37. The first portion is when Ezekiel has that vision of the dried bones. Remember, and he is, sees them come back together, but even though they originally go from bones to a freestanding person, until the word of God is breathed into them, they have no life. And then the next story is a vision of two sticks. Two sticks in which Ezekiel is told to, to write names on and then combine them together so that they become one stick. And then finally, this last messianic vision of a new kingdom guided by a new David. And this kingdom will bring in all, it will encompass all, for God's sanctuary will dwell within it, and there shall be peace. If we stop and we look at all three combined, we realize that vision of Ezekiel is still applicable to us today. For we are dried bones in many ways. We're dried bones in the sense that even though we have had the flesh, the sinews, etc. brought back upon us, what we see in the world, materialism, sexual immorality, lifestyles, what we see with the philosophies of the world, Socialism, communism. What we see on the television, the cell phone, the computer. Can so many of these be that one thing, that breath that instills life into us? I would say no. For it is only that word of God we hear preached that truly moves into one's heart if we allow it always if we allow it and that can give us new life breathe into our into our hearts that breath of life of soul and then we look around and we see like the two sticks you have these two realities the reality of the world, the reality of the church, in essence. And how they can be brought together when we place the reality of the church 
first. When we are called to do and serve God, then we serve our neighbor as ourselves. For if I were to stand up here and speak to you about litter, litter on the streets, if I truly, truly had the love of God in my heart, to where I wanted to hold as sacred all of his creation, because in all of creation, it bespeaks to me the presence of God, some aspect of God. Then, would I want to litter God's beautiful creation? Well, no. And so, in that way, am I also showing love to my neighbor, to the person who would come after me? Well, yes. So, I can incorporate these things. I can make the world better by first having the Spirit of God living present within me. And finally, finally, this beautiful aspect of the Messianic prophecy where we would have the one great Davidic ruler who rules over the kingdom. And we see that present within the church established by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, this Catholic church in which we can look around and we can see people from all walks of life present within this Catholic church that stretches worldwide and has been stretched worldwide for 2,000 years. Oh, sure. We can always look and say, yes, but I can point out the negative, negatives. This bad priest, this bad bishop, this bad pope, this offense committed. Yes, yes, yes. For the church is made up of sinners. But that should never, ever, ever diminish what the church is in its essence, the bride of Christ. And the church is the way that Jesus intended for people to go to heaven through the sacraments, through the divine sacrifice of the mass, these beautiful aspects, through the Four pillars of the Catholic Church, one holy Catholic and apostolic. All these things combined, our creed, our Bible, help us, guide us to place Christ as that king so that we can live in peace in the brotherhood of man, in a kingdom. A kingdom that mirrors where our ultimate destiny is. So we leave it there for you to ponder. May Almighty God be with you. May he bless you. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come and get together as one family in faith. Let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We pray to the Lord. Lord, 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 Lord. We pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way this day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, 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 Lord. We pray for Sally Malone, for whom this Mass is being offered, for the repose of her soul and the consolation of her family. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our and we pray, finally, for the needs of our brothers and sisters who will watch this Mass and video, and for the needs of you here present in our church today. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our Let us conclude by asking Mary's intercession during this, the time of her Immaculate Heart. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For to the earth the work of human hands will become for us the bread of life.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For to the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the gifts we offer from our fasting be acceptable to you, O Lord, we pray, that as an expiation for our sins, they may make us worthy of your grace and lead us to what you promise for eternity, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And and lift up your hearts. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. Since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed, and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks. This is exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth, holy Lord, 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 blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, 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 Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by putting down your spirit upon them like the living fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and took willingly into his passion, he took bread on the giving thanks for it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. Provide the cross and resurrection. You have us. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give you thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed of Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all of the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gracious to grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. To await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said, If you are apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Let not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take your place in this world, and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take your place in this world, and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take your place in this world, and have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Christ was handed over to gather one the scattered church. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of this of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. <coughs> the Lord be with you. Every May Almighty God bless you, Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy Michael, Lord, our angel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness of the sins of the devil. May God be with you and we not be pray. And we be evil friends of the heavenly hosts. By the divine power, for us in the devil, Satan and all the enemies of the spirits, to wander the world, seek the world. Divine praises, blessed be God, praises are the name, 
Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his next day of honor. Blessed be his first place of love. Blessed be Jesus and the Lord for the sake of the Lord. Blessed be the Holy Spirit for the sake of the Lord. Blessed be the right of God and the name of the Lord. Blessed be the Lord.